Well, I'm out again and barely at a depth of two and a half inches, we have a half penny complete in situ. I'm guessing it's Georgian, but it's very, very crusty. Um, I think I can see Georgia III, 1806, 1807, I'm guessing, is this half penny, but I think I can see him on the bus there. You might be able to catch it on the screen. But I'll wash it up and I'll get back to you. That it be. It is an 1806 Georgia third half penny. Well, guys, 15 minutes later, and I have a two coin spill here. It's a penny and a farthing stuck together. Look at that. <laughs> um, I can already tell that the f the half penny is Queen Victoria Young Bun, um, but I don't know what the farthing is, um, as the bust is obscured by the half penny, and it's stuck to it. I don't know, I'm in two minds whether to take them apart or whether to keep them together, but I will wash them up and I'll get back to you. Well guys, as I said, the, Queen Vic uh, the half penny is a Queen Victoria a Young Bun of 1880s date, and the farthing is uh, George V dated 1921. Lovely little pocket spell. Okay guys, back again, and it appears we have another coin in the hole. It is, at first glances, a ship half penny of George VI. Looks to be in nice condition, but it's encrusted in mud, so I'll uh, wash it up and I'll get back to you. Okay guys, by all accounts, it's a George VI ship half penny, dated 1938. Well guys, I'm out again on Saturday, and as you've been hearing, Britain's in another heat wave this time of year. But at a depth of, as you can see there, no further than three inches, we have what appears to be a copper farthing. Um, yeah, I can see... That's Britannia side, that's Britannia side. Um, I suspect this will be a George II, because I cannot see a rim distinctive on George the I. But that is a lovely looking coin, um, very copper coloured rather than brown that you normally get of these coins. But uh, I'll wash it up and I'll verify that with you. Yes guys, as you can see there, uh, it is a George II. Um, I cannot read the date completely, but I think it might be 1731 or 1737. So it's quite an early one, but it looks to be in great condition, no chips or anything. Just slightly warm, but great state of preservation. Very happy with that to start the day. Well guys, um, it's a lot later now. I've let the sun heat up the day and now it's starting to get cooler. So it's easier to hunt. And I wish I'd done a live dig on this one because it looks like we have a early milled, an early milled copper half penny in the bottom of the hole. It's definitely got some thickness to it and some weight as well. So hopefully we have a definitive monarch on it and hopefully a date, but I won't know until I wash it up but I'll get back to you. Well guys, in my eyes, this looks like a George III forged half penny of the date 1770 to 1775. But it's another old coin and I'm very happy with it. It's the history that counts. Well guys, back in and we have It's another copper milled half penny. Um, again, quite thick, so it should have some details on it. And in fact, I can see. Um, I think that's a George. I think that's George appearing through there. Another George III. Um, and by the looks of things, it's probably going to be another fake. But um, I'll need to wash it up and verify that. Well guys, this field obviously had a considerable problem with uh, contemporary forgeries because this is definitely another one. Uh, the die axis is all wrong for the George III. George III again, 1770 to 1775, but this is the third contemporary forger I found in this field, including the uh, bang token six shilling. 
and the other previous fake 1770s George III halfpenny. But it's the history that counts. Well guys, it's Sunday and I've been plaguing away in this extreme heat for the last four hours and the only proper thing to show for it is this. I just found it. It looks, um, judging by the... it looks like a shoulder title. Um, either First or Second World War. I'm going for First World War. Perfect condition with lugs on the back. Um, RFA, which I believe would stand for Royal Field Artillery, um, and London, which I believe the London branch or the London Battalion, the Royal Field Artillery, but it looks to be in fantastic condition, and it's another World War One relic to add to the military collection. Well guys, finally I have a coin from the site, and it is a bronze penny. Uh, the date is 1913, so that should be George V, which it is. It looks to be in nice condition, but uh, it's a relief to finally get a coin. Well guys, I'm still out in this beautiful sunset. Um, you may have seen earlier that I got a farthing, um, 1929 George V, but now at a good depth, a good seven inches, I've pulled out a bronze penny uh, that's covered in mud. Uh, it's definitely a bronze penny, but it should be Victorian, but I'll need to wash it up and I'll get back to you. Well guys, it is Victorian, but bizarrely, it's another late dated Victorian. It's a bunhead, but it's dated 1885. And the only Victorian coins I've found in these series of fields have been dated later than 1885, which is very odd. Um, normally you get the common 1862s and that sort of era, but I'm getting very late Victorian coins uh, for her reign. But I'm not complaining, it's another nice coin to add to the collection. Hey guys, I am really excited about this one. If you look in the bottom of the hole, I think you can see silver. I think this is a silver. Um, I don't know what, but I can see at the top there a crown. And that indicates to me that this might be a four shields on the reverse. And therefore it could be as early as William III. So this could be a William III silver. I can see the milling on the edge. So um, I'm going to have to carefully wash this up and I'll get back to you, but that's definitely a silver coin. That's a fantastic end to the evening in this beautiful uh, sunset. Let's see if we can wash it up and I'll get back to you. Well guys, as you can barely make out on the screen there, this is a very, very nice William the Third, 1696, sixpence. My first ever datable William the Third coin. The milling's perfect, but as you can see, there's a slight fold in it. But that is a beautiful coin. Um, it's, for some reason, there's some red on it, but I'll uh, put it in the ultrasonic cleaner to uh, preserve it, to see if the red will come off. But I won't push it anyway um, towards cleaning it because that is a beautiful coin, and I'd like to keep it as it is. As a beautiful coin, my first one ever. Fantastic end to the day.
Well guys, seeing as we've had so much luck this evening, I'll do a live dig. If you can see that is coming up as uh, a bronze penny uh, at six inches, so it should be something good. But the uh, ground is so hard at the moment, because we did have a period of rain, but now we've just had drier weather for the last several days and the ground has just become like concrete as you can see. Let's see what we have. Now I've already tried this before and had those blasted half new pences um, from 1971. It uh, could have been moved I guess um, when I pick it. Let's see what we've got. Now that I'm doing a live dig, it's going to be junk probably. But we're just by the side of the path, so I'm feeling lucky. What have we got? It's probably still deeper actually. It's reading in the very small area, like a, it's not a large area that the signal's coming from, so I would assume that we could have a smaller target, which would be consistent with a coin. It's just scraping in more against flint. Let's see what we have. We have a coin just here. It's a bronze penny of George V. That is unbelievable, that depth. That is a good, what, eight inches bronze penny of George V. But at least it's a coin. Um, the date on it is 1912, how appropriate. A hundred years old this year and the centenary of the Titanic sinking. But it's another new date coin for me. But it's good to get it on live dig. There you are guys, there's a sign of a responsible de detectorist. No sign at all. That's where it was. 